Hey everybody, Akers here. Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Trying to find my first five star. I think I've done a pretty good job with the herd management in this particular area through here with the uh, whitetails and the muleys. So my goal is to uh, start off here at the start of the drinking zo zone time and check the usual places. See if we can get lucky and maybe uh, find a five star that's developed in one of these herds. So we got a uh, mule deer calling out up here. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up here to this elevated position. We've got some pheasant right in front of us, but uh, they're a no-go right now. We got uh, the seven millimeter and the, uh, I think, I can't remember which one we have. Got the uh, Lapua. Is that what we have? Uh, no, we got the new uh, the new Remington 300 or the Remington 350. I can't remember which, but yeah. So that's what we're carrying right there. So let's go ahead and scope this place out over here. See where these deer were calling out from. They're down here somewhere. There's one. Okay, there's a belt female. She's bound to have some friends. There we go. Uh, that one's looking pretty decent back there. He's a four-star four star and then we have a one star here that I'll probably need to get out of the herd let me see if I can call him in how far out is he I can probably call him in from there if he's a low fitness adult or a male then he'll respond to this if he's a uh... good pull it up here low uh yeah low fitness male so if he responds to this we know that he's low fitness and he needs to be called from the herd So, unfortunately, it's just a four-star out there. But if we get rid of this one, maybe uh, it'll help with the genetics next next go-round. Who knows? Let's see if we're getting any type of reaction from him. He doesn't appear to care at all. So he might grow into a five-star. Who knows? So we're going to have to definitely let, let him pass. The other option is take this four-star. Yeah, I don't think he's going to respond, but we can try again here. Might be a little far off for him to respond, so I'm going to creep a little bit closer, maybe get to this big tree here. Put out another call and see if he responds. Because uh, I'm not exactly sure what the range is for these callers. There goes, there goes all the pheasants. Shouldn't spook them. They're pretty far out, so they should be fine still. But uh, it's going to get low and uh, move in here. Can I keep an eye on? I can, I can see him from here. Okay, that's good. Is that a two-star? So, yeah, there's a two-star mature. I'll probably want to get that two-star mature out of the herd. He's a little weak, so what I'll try to do is I'll get a little bit closer, put out another call, see if we can maybe do a little herd management. I wasn't hoping, uh, well, I was hoping not to do herd management. I was hoping we could actually uh, enjoy some fruits of labor today over the last several weeks, but it uh, doesn't appear that's going to be the case, so let me get a little bit closer here far off is he 195 all right i'm gonna just tuck into this tree here real quick Let's see if we can bring one of them towards us i don't really need to for that two star but uh we can see if we can get a reaction if the one star comes towards us we're definitely taking him down because that means he's definitely low fitness but uh i have a feeling the two star might respond to this one Let's take a look. Yeah, he's not interested at all. He's a mature two star. I'm just going to go ahead and take this one down right here. One eighty two. He's got a pretty wreck though. As soon as he stops. Now, I do want to make sure I'm shooting the right one. 
because there's several that have quite similar racks. So that's the that's my two star. He's in the lead. That's him right there. Let's keep it on him. He's done. He's moving very slow. Yeah. I don't think he's going too far. And there he goes. Okay. All right, well, let's see what the fitness level is on this guy. He didn't respond to my call, so I'm guessing his fitness level is too low, but he is a mature two-star. Get him out of the herd. Come back and check on this herd a little bit later. And uh, see what we got. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing quite well. Looking forward to a new map that should be introduced. I'm not sure what they're going to bring out, but uh, I've heard rumors from uh, Rob McTube. He's normally pretty reliable. Uh, people are debating. Well, he is. I don't know if it's just a wish or, or what, but he's saying, uh, I don't know why I turned it off. I should have left, the, should have left my marker on where it was, but... Africa or Alaska is what he what he would like and I think that'd be pretty good. I'd like to have Alaska honestly Well, let's go ahead and claim him here See what his health is uh, 63 so yeah, he needed to come out of the herd. I don't think that that I think 63 is Not considered low fitness, but sort of like just average, but we're looking for above average. So let's go ahead and uh, sell him and uh, Get him out of that herd Good stuff. It was a good hit. Looked like it was a heart hit. I think is what it said. I didn't really pay attention. Wanted to move on and move on to the next herd as quick as possible. So. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll just hoof it here from here. I'm just going to walk it up here and uh, get to the next stand, which should be right about there. Yeah. That's it right there. So I'm just going to follow the road here. Get it. Get the old binocs out kind of glass as we go here so you see any and there's some deer that sometimes come down here for a drink I don't know if it's the same herd that we just uh, spooked but uh, if it's a different one I guess we can find out Let's see here those are muleys so that's that's just that one zone that we were at uh, I'm looking for the other one I think it's right yeah it's this herd here so it's a different herd so they could be down here that shot should not have spooked him at uh, over 300 meters away. So we just need to keep our eyes open. Sometimes, even though they're on a drinking zone, they can be tucked a little bit up into the woods. And uh, they kind of hang out up there. So don't expect them to be right next to the water every time. Normally they're not that far back. But... Uh, yeah, my concern is they're just over this hill here. Right down here. So makes me kind of think maybe I should swing out this way and that way I can see around the hill rather than go right up over top of it you know before we get too close because as soon as we come over that hill we're going to be like we're gonna be like 10 meters from and uh, that that won't work that will not work for our purposes once we clear this area then we can move back over and continue along the road a little it's a little more confidence yeah it doesn't look like they're down in this area so that herd might be somewhere else 
probably along the same river, just maybe further down. I think if memory serves, they had, they had a couple of need zones. Let me check. Let's see here. Not that group, this group. Yeah, they got another one further down, so they're probably down here. As long as they're not just back here, where I just can't see them, but I'm about to check. Anyway. Yeah, I think, I think we're pretty safe. Was that a fox calling out? Whitetail. Spooked. So we spooked some whitetail. Alright, no big deal. We'll bump into him a little bit later, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna move back to the other side. I think those birds taken off like that, that we just saw just in front of us, I think that's a new, uh, new effect. I don't remember seeing it. They're not the type of birds that we can hunt or anything like that. You know, sort of like wild birds or whatever. But it's kind of a cool effect. So one of the things that they've done is they've reduced the amount of blur on the edges with uh, hunter sense. Because people were really complaining about that. It didn't really bother me that much at all, honestly. But a lot of people seem to bother. Okay, we got something out here. We got a herd out here. What have we got? They're all chilling out and looking nice and peaceful and happy. Okay. We'll uh, we'll be able to get up to our hunting stand, no problem. Get a nice view down there. Just take our time, pick out something, hopefully a five star. Like I said, I've been been waiting for my first five star. Have yet to get one. But that's because I I've been doing a lot of herd management. Oh, there goes a badger right across the street. There he goes. Oh, yeah, there he is. We're not hunting badger today, though. So, as soon as I get up to this little incline, I'll uh, put the stock on and start to get a little more stealthy. Wind's favorable for us. And yeah, we'll just take our time going through Badgerville here. Pretty sure that I got most of the need zones through this area, so not really surprised that that one wasn't a new one. This uh, hunting stand should give us a great view of this herd. We also might see the herd that we bumped out, that whitetail herd over here somewhere. They were, they were like back here, and they kind of moved that way. So the estimates on distances when it comes to sound and that sort of stuff, the, the hunter sense stuff, is uh, much more dialed in, it seems like. I don't think that's because my character has gotten upgraded or, you know, leveled up or anything. I think that uh, they just did that in an update to be a little more accurate rather than just saying every 50 meters. So now you see, like, a sound from, like, 160 to 180, something like that. Let's see if we can do this quietly. Fine. Problem here is I'm gonna have to stand to take the shot, but we will have a really good view. So that's a male, one star. He's got to go. It's a male, young male, it's an adult male, one star. This this herd needs to be helped out a lot. Adult male. These are all one star adult males. We need to come back and get this herd straightened out. So I'll just take this real easy one right in front of us. Um, yeah, he's adult male, one star. So he's never—he's not going to develop into much, even if he goes to two star by, you know, at maturity. So maybe I can. Uh, let's see, that's two, 
230. I could put a shot in there. I think maybe I should stock up here. That's going to be 150 to 230. That's that's only 80 meters. That's pretty close. I don't think I really like getting that close. So I think this would probably be my best shot right here. So let's do that. And let's see here. He's uh, 231. That's a little too far. Put a little bit high. And that dropped him straight away. That was a good shot. Alright. Okay. Well, so much for hunting five stars. Looks like we're back to herd management. I wonder if this is going to count towards... My herd management mission is still uh, zero out of five low fitness bucks. I think they were muleys though, weren't they? Let me check. I, I've kind of forgotten all about these uh, objectives. Where are they at? Over here? Yeah. Deer management. So, mule. Yeah, so this won't count. This is a whitetail. But, uh, yeah, it had to be done. Hold on. I think we got another herd over here. Maybe. Or I'm just seeing rocks. Probably just rocks. Nope, that's a herd. Okay, so that's the muley herd. That could have either been here or over there. So I'll uh, walk over here and then we'll uh, move back over to here and uh, get in a, another good angle on them. So, But let's go claim this one first. Hopefully this mule herd has something good. I'm ready. Definitely ready. Where's our white tails that we spooked? Are they right here? Yeah, they're right, right there. So we could probably take a shot on one of these. Um, it's a one star mature. How far out? 230? Yeah, we'll take him. I can actually get low here and get a real nice steady shot on him. As long as I do it so, there we go, 200. See a lot of blood. So, I'll mark that because I know where the other one is. It looks like they're running towards the other herd. I wonder if it's going to spook the other herd. Nope, they don't care. Okay, so, they're indifferent. Alright, we should be able to get another... This one, that one. And uh, I'm not going to try to harvest that one before I take a shot on the this last herd that's uh, not spooked. I saw the blood splatter there, so that should be a pretty good shot on, on that one. He might be actually down near the river. Might have dropped somewhere over here. Yeah, maybe my eyes just not seeing it. But there's definitely yeah, you can see the blood right there. It's a pheasant, and I think this is our deer here. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab him. See what he looks like. We got a spinal shot on him. Aimed a little bit high, apparently. But that's, uh, that's why he dropped so quick. So, yeah. Did not mean to hit the spine. I overcompensated for the bullet drop. I thought there was going to be more bullet drop than there actually was. So, yeah. He's 65 again. Yeah. Needed to be taken out. Right, I'm just going to walk straight back. Then cross back here. And uh, make an approach where I can see them. Um, yeah. I can go ahead and put a tracking marker down, too. I always do that if I want to. Well, I could, you know what? I could do that right now. Let's do that. Let's put down a tracking marker here. See if I can put it right on top. That's pretty close. That way, if we have to use the uh, exploration marker again to mark a shot, we won't lose our blood over here. All right, let's try to get high ground here. Circle this herd a little bit. 
mule deer calm. That's the herd that we were looking at that has not been hit yet. So. He's 180 to 200. So yeah, we're dialed into 20 meters. Within 20 meters there, so. Looks like they moved up a little bit. All right. Take a look, see what we got here. That's a one star. That's a, that's a one star adult. This, this herd looks weak as well. They're all weak. We need to take them out. So, about this one. Yeah, mature, adult, mature. That one will be my target right there. I think. Is two, is it 284 or 172? We got that herd that moved out that way now. That whitetail herd's moved out that way. So, I'm not keen that they lay down. It's going to make an, the anatomy a little more difficult. That one's mature, and he's 181. Okay, we'll do that one. 181. It's backing off just a little bit. Right at the top of the hill there. I think that's him. He's he's hurt for sure. That's not the right area, but. Try to put it as, yeah, it's kind of hitting the back part of the thing there. All right, so we're going to creep up on that next herd, and we're just basically leapfrogging herds at this point. And they're going to go up there and calm down a little bit and drift their way back down, I think. So I'm just going to creep over here, claim this, and see where we're at in relation to that uh, white tail herd that's up on the hill. I believe that's the white tails that I shot over here that I got this one from. The blue marker. They've moved over here now. So, might take a quick look here, see if I can get another. Young male, yeah. Don't really want to shoot a, a young one, because you never know what they're going to turn into, so. This is a move over here, nice and easy. I wonder if it's because I haven't played in a couple weeks and, uh, you know, the sort of the in-game time has passed and these herds have kind of fell into bad habits. Oh, pheasant. One of the zones I haven't found in this area. Of course, I never really explored this side of the river too much. It was always the other side. And it was always the drinking zone. I was never really interested in finding eating zones. Don't really care about eating or resting zones so much, because drinking zones they're they're easy to find. They tend to have wider open shots. So everything's a lot more, a lot easier when you're around the body of water. All right, so we should have this one here. It's a large amount of blood, so he's not too far off. Yeah, slow, but uh, 50 meters is what it's saying. I'm pretty sure. What so you went this way. Where's he at? He's, I can probably see him over here. Probably died somewhere over here. It's very convenient. They decided to die like right in the same direction that I was heading anyway. The question is, did he actually go across the river? Or did he double back? I don't see any blood over here from doubling back. So. Well, we'll go straight across and see if we can find them. one right there. It's kind of close, so we're going to need to move a little bit slower. If I get up here, then maybe I can get another shot on him. It's probably 160 or so. All right, let's take a look, look around for blood trail. Yep, 
Let's see if I can see the blood back here. Can I see it from all the way over here? Yep, I can see it there, leading back. Blows over here at all. I don't really see anything over there. They're nice and calm. And they're calm now, up in the woods. It's a young male. It's a mature male. One star. Yeah, I want to get him. So I'm going to pull up here and take a shot, drop another tracking marker down. And we can always resume these once we get the herds out of the area. We can kind of move around a little bit faster and stand up a little bit. Is that him? No, that's the drift what it looks like. Getting up here might actually help out seeing the deer if it's down in this grass here somewhere. So it didn't go far. A lot of these rocks look like a, a deer over on the side. You can see that blow glowing from all the way over here. Maybe it stayed on that side. It's quite possible. Slow down quite a bit here. I think I'll be within about 150 meters of these guys. We've already been shot at once. I don't know if that increases the likelihood of them getting spooked or not, but I'll take the risk. Might be in the water too. Could be. Could be down in the water, which would make it a little harder to see. What's it back here? Thought I heard something popping and cracking. That crackle pop. There's the young male. There's my mature male. Of course, my young male is giving me the best shot. But. I'm going to get into this bush right here. Take the shot from this bush. I think I see some blood right in front of me. A huge amount of blood. Right here. Yeah. So they both look like good shots. There's another bush in the way. Yeah, we're okay. We can get a good shot on this guy. 136 out. Yeah, we'll keep it right there, I think. Not a good shot there. I'm going to wait. What do we got over here? Is that, a, that looks like a young one. The young, he's a young one. Young one. I bet you I could call him down. Let's see if we can do that. Just for the fun of it. Okay. Let's see if we can call him down. Low fitness males? Yep. I bet you one of these responds.
Really? None of them? So his fitness score is probably in the 60s or so. He's about to get blocked by the other one. That's all right. He'll, he'll make another appearance. I'm not too worried about it. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to start glassing this area. See if I can see where this one dropped from over here. There's the blood. Large amount of it. Oh, are you calling out? Well, that'd be interesting. Who's calling out? Are you the mature? Yes, you are. You're coming. Alright, I'm going to take him out. That's a good shot right there. 100. Almost on the dime. Go behind him. <laughs> Don't go in front of him. Alright, here we go. And there he goes. Okay. Alright, well, I'll go claim him first, since I know for sure where he's at. Then we'll return to this hill here. <laughs> Look what we found here. <laughs> oh, that was fortuitous. All right. Left lung, right lung. He made it pretty far, honestly. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's 50.24. That was definitely a good one to get out of the mix. All right, on across the street. <laughs> By street, I mean stream. So, I think that's our guy over here. Oh, there's another one. Never mind. He did go down in the water. Come on, I missed him. All right, so that was probably the one from up top here. And then this one is probably this one over here. Maybe a single one or something. That was a double one. Yep. That was our health on this one. 38.4. Yeah, it's going to be a... It was a uh, white tail, though, right? Oh, no, it was a melee. Okay, so that should count. It should count. I don't think we have to have the mission selected, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because this should count towards our gear management mission. This one. Less than 40. Yeah, 38. Cool. So we'll do that. Yeah, there we go. One of five. All right, so we did it. Good. So two accounted for. Now we just need to go up, claim this one. Now we've got three, and this will be four. Not a bad hunt. I was hoping for a five star, but my herds have gotten a little, a little gross. So I can probably get rid of these markers, honestly. Uh, let's just remove all the markers. Let's remove that one. There we go. Okay, I think he's up here somewhere. If not, I know where the blood is. I'll just follow the blood. Cause I, yeah, he's back here somewhere, but I'll just end up walking around the circles. So I know I shot him up here. Let's go. Grab this blood. Might put the stock on, up in, on these muleys that are calm up here. In the hills. There's my blood. There's my blood. Yep, looks good. Okay, yep, we know it's good. We saw him go down. And I think he went straight. Did he go straight back? There he goes. Yeah. And he went this way. See, I would have been off a little bit because I was thinking it was that those trees back there, but we got those white tails over there. So I think what I'll do is I'll I'll put a marker back here, just so we know where to go. Oh, there they are, right there. I can see them. We're making our way back to the tor towards the water. It looks like. All right, let's hur hurry up and harvest this one. Put the stock back on them. Yep, straight ahead. Scare these ones? Yeah, see the see the birds going up? So they're spooked. They didn't go back too far. Okay, what have we got here? Right lung, liver. 
Yeah, that was a good shot. That's a good shot. Overview. 36. All right. So this this will count as well. Good. We've already got two. Hey, all right. We're about to accomplish this darn mission at this rate. Maybe uh, me getting negligent with my herd management is going to pay off. Only problem is I just spooked him up into the hills even further. Uh, yeah, you can see him moving up there, can't you? I think I'm going to go for this herd over here and let them settle. Maybe come back down here. Revisit this area. But so far, pretty good. 444. Four, four. All small ones, but uh, yeah, not bad. Alright, now I think what I'll do here. I don't really want to go right up next to these woods. So I'm going to cross over. Get back up on this hill and take a look. See if I can see what they're doing. If they're planning on coming back this way, or if they're planning on just staying in the woods for the remainder of their drinking zone time, which I think is up at 1300. So we might just. The white tailed deer 280 out so that's going to be a different herd all right i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to work on this this herd right here then since they're right in front of me give them a little seven millimeter love man these whitetails aren't going to help me with my herd management mission but it's okay i'm, I'm looking for five stars eventually and i need to get all these little ones out I don't care if they're five stars white tails or five star muleys. I want my first five star. Alright. Let's see what we can see from up here. They gotta be right down here. Okay, I think I see a head right here in front of me. Looking around. Right in front of me. No, that's poop. I thought I saw some head, like some. I thought I saw a head right up here. Stand up, take a peek. That that must be a bush playing tricks on my eyes right there. All right. Oh, birds are moving for some reason. Are they on the other side of these? I bet you they're on the other side of this brush. I can't see him because of the brush. It must be a little further over to the right here. So let's creep up on this brush. Hopefully it doesn't last forever. wonder if these birds are flying around because of the deer. I don't see a herd. How are these doing? Did they come back out yet? Have they revealed themselves yet? Could be all the way back down to the water by now. I don't really see them. I don't think they're coming down anytime soon. Probably going to move on to their next need zone before... Okay, here we go. They're, they're on the other side of the road. It's a young male. A female. A female female okay well they're further out there I'm gonna move up a little bit quicker I think they might be leaving the area I'm gonna try to put put out a call and try to call one in this is a different completely different herd than what we've been dealing with so far I'm gonna keep an eye out over here. Let's see what we got. Are they are they moseying on out? They're moving on out. The young male. The young male. That's an adult male. All right. See if I can get close enough to bring him back. I don't know if how far out are they. 160. Okay. We get to about 150. My sense blowing straight at him. Issue. I do have a good bush over there. Throw the hide in. All right, let me see if I can get one to come to this caller. If they ignore it, they might be decent enough to. We got a male calling out. Where's that male? Adult male. 
See, I don't know. I'm going to put my shot in on him. As a one star. I see him. I see him. I see him. He's trotting. That's him right there. That's him right there. He is 150 out. Turn. Turn, brother. Turn. Not you. They're moving on to their next knee zone. That's what that is. Another good hit. He's down. That's a lot of blood. There he goes. So I know he went through here. He's making a mental note. Next to those two pine trees over there in the clearing. I'm going to go ahead and move my marker over here. I think that's probably close. All right, let's go straight here for this blood. All right, let's see if we can get another low fitness man. Should be just past these two uh, pine trees over here, right, right there. Yeah, it should be right about here somewhere. There it is. Okay. How much blood do we have here? Oh, we got we got a good amount. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Didn't really even need the follow up shot, I don't think. So he went this way, and then I hit him again here. And then he went this way. Ish. Yeah, through here. There's the flood. Kind of went that way? Yep. Right towards our marker, obviously. Yep, there it goes. Straight towards the marker. Can't see it while we're running, unfortunately. It'd be nice uh, if I could level up and do that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will be able to do that in the near future. That was pretty close to the marker. What's this? I want to see what this need zone is. Hold on, let me put a marker down here. Blood. I want to see what this need zone is. I don't think I've unlocked this one yet. Oh, apparently I have. Okay. tracks through here. It's kind of muddy in the water here. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Like runway lights at this point. Straight through the bush, see which way he went. That's a lot of bushes to go through. Jeez, I hate that. Oh, whew. got one right in front of us. Perfect. And there he is. Okay, let's see how uh, how weak he was. I'm feeling. I don't think he's down in the 40s or in the 50s. I think he's probably about a 60 something. 
take a look. We got left lung artery. I can't believe he stayed up that long with the artery shot. That was the first shot. And then this one was a an artery shot as well. Or no, this one was flesh. Yeah, that was a flesh shot. So, but I did hit some bone there. So that must have been the second shot there. Yeah. First shot was, uh, yeah. Those two. Flesh and maybe, yeah, some bone. Okay. Take a look at him. 52.01. Probably why he didn't respond to the call. Or he was moving on to his next need zone. Not sure. All right. Well, what was that? Five for five now? Goodness. It's quite the hunt. I think we're about ready to uh, lose our need zone. Well, it was productive. So, uh, let's take a look here, see if we can see anything else out moving at the moment. Maybe they came back down, but I doubt it. I think it's time for them to move on to their resting or eating zone. All right, well, I'll end the episode there. That was uh, pretty good. We didn't make it that far down the river. Let's take a look how far we made it. I don't think we made it too far. Yeah, so I, I disembarked here. Went over here, took, got that one shot on the first one. Came down this way. Kind of worked my way down this way. Here, harvested this one, and then came back to here. So, yeah, we really didn't stray too far from the house. But it was very busy. Very, very busy. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. Greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care.